Steve Wesley, here's a man who knows them both very well, founder of the Wesley Group and a former Tesla board member. Steve, welcome back. Good to see you, sir. Uh, we Thank can you. We can delve into what the predictions are, the, the, the deliveries, the earnings, and so forth, but I think I'll spare that and, and talk more broadly about, uh, about this company. I wonder what its moat is and how stiff the competition is going to be for this company that has really had a very nice clean runway for the last five years. Is it about to get real crowded? It's about to get very crowded. And look, I've been the biggest champion on Tesla for the last 10 years. Simply put, they're moving faster than anybody else. They beat numbers yet again. They're growing 50% a year. No one else in the auto industry is doing that. And they're the clear innovation leader. They've made the electric vehicle space. But make no mistake about it, there's about to be an avalanche of competition. What you see is the Americans, Ford, General Motors, finally coming into the playing field, GM putting a stake in the ground, all electric by 2035. VW, I think, is probably the longest, uh, the toughest competitor long term. And then you have the Chinese coming very quickly, Neo, Xpeng, BYD, and SAIC. And don't forget, they've got a huge cost advantage both in labor and battery costs. 70% of the world's lithium-ion batteries are made in China, and you've got the Chinese government helping them out to boot. So... Tesla's doing a great job, but they're about to see a tidal wave of competition. So you've got, and, and you led me perfectly to China, which seems to me to be a, a major wild card for this whole industry, in part because, as you say, they have 70% of the, of the batteries, and don't they also have most of the rare earth uh, metals that are needed to make the batteries? So they are in the catbird seat, aren't they? Well, I think in a lot of ways they are. And, and let's take a careful look here. Tesla's really been the number one EV auto company in China. They got there first. They had the big brand. Chinese love a powerful uh, brand. But it's about to get tougher. Xpeng, for example, has put a Tesla knockup on the market at roughly half the price. Now, rare earth minerals, China has an advantage there. A lot of them come from Mongolia. But firms like Tesla can find those in other places. I think the real issue is the Chinese government is going to have a real cost advantage. China's the biggest auto market in the world. Make no mistake, Chinese companies will dominate the Chinese market. The big question is, can Tesla continue to dominate in North America and continue to do well in Europe? Uh, Herbert Dietz, the head of Volkswagen, has other plans. But if Tesla can continue to do what they're doing, lead the way on the cost down curve on batteries. They're doing extraordinary things there. Continue to innovate. They're leaders in over-the-air software, leaders in autonomous. They could be doing just fine. Will they keep a $750 billion valuation? Time will tell. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.